Hi, I'm Linda from Barlati's Body Blitz. Welcome to 5 Day Fitness, Day 2, Fusion Sculpt. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat. I'm not wearing footwear, but if you want to, you can. We're also going to use some slightly heavier dumbbells. I've got 2.5 kilos, which is around 5.5 pounds. And we also need a chair that you can hold on to. If you don't have a chair, just make sure it's a sturdy support because we will be putting our weight onto it. So you don't want it to be wobbly at all. We're going to get started with a nice flowing warm up and then we're going to move through a whole bunch of lower body exercises, some weights for the upper body, core, a little bit of everything with a fusion sculpt flavor. Okay, let's just start in the center and I want your feet to be a little wider than hip width apart and we're just going to reach over and we're going to pick up our heel. Slightly bend your knees, reach overhead and you can lean with it a little bit. Always want to keep nice soft knees, your tummy drawn in, your shoulders down and back, over and over. Warming up through the entire body. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now just to the front. And I want it down and across. Make it dynamic. You can bring your other arm to the back now. Down and across. Twisting through the waist. You're hinging forward from the hips here. Back is flat. Bending into those legs. A few more like this. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now stand a bit more upright and I want you to push your fingertips towards the floor and then the other hand up to the ceiling. Really lean into it, leaning into the side body, stretching and strengthening at the same time. Lengthen those arms. A few more like this, then we're going to do single, single, double. Six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now with single, single, double. Bend a bit further. Single, single, bend it. Single, single, bend low. Are you feeling this in your waist? Down. Single, single, Double, just a few more of these. Single, single, double. Let's go for three. And down. Two. And down. Last one. And down. Nice job, come towards the back of your mat and we're gonna come forward, down. So you're really flopping down like a rag doll and then bend over and then back. So it's forward, down, straighten your front leg on the down, bend and back. Forward, straighten, bend and back. So it's forward, straighten your front leg like a hamstring stretch. As you come down, straighten, up, lean to the side and back. Come on, a few more. Really sweep your arms to the back as you straighten there and make sure you have a really nice wide stance. Let's do two more. So it's front and side. Last one, keep going. Up and side, nice job. Just come to a nice side to side motion and start picking up your heel, side to side. Warming up through your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads, as well as the upper body. A few more like this. Around. Nice circular flowing arms. Getting your shoulders involved. A few more. Bending lower now that the legs are warmer. Six. Five. Four. Three, 
two, one. Now I want you to come down and up. So it's sweep it and up. So on one side, sweep and up. Really low, stick your glutes to the back wall. Arms are chopping through the air. Come up on that toe, down and up. Four, three, two, one, and the other side. And up, down and up. <sighs> Dynamic stretching at its best. Down, down. Sweep your arm to the back. Down and up. Really sink into that inner thigh. Weight is in the heel as you come down. Let's go for four. Four, three, two, one. Now just rotate and up. Rotate and up. So your legs are straight here and you're just allowing your body to hang. Come to the side a bit and then back up. Two more on this side and up. One more. Now come down the other way. Rotate and up. Hold your tummy in. Try to keep your legs straight. This is a hamstring stretch. And up. You're still bending over slightly at the top. Three more. And two. And last one. Nice job. Now we're going to grab our chair and we're just gonna have it so that we can hold onto it lightly with one hand. I want your feet in a V position and we're just gonna start bouncing on the toes with our knees out. Now, I'm gonna do a few little ballet jumps, but you don't need to jump, you can just push off your toes, okay? So if you want to, start jumping and straightening through the legs and pointing through the feet. We're gonna switch this. Six, five, four, three, two, one, switch, switch. Just switch those feet, landing softly, warming up a little bit more before we get into that thigh work. A few more like this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, we're just gonna do some thigh work. Staying in this same turned out position. I want one leg in front, really nice upright posture. Tummy's in, shoulders back. We're gonna come up, side, bend to the back. So it's front, side, bend. Front, side, bend. So this supporting leg can be soft here. It's up to you if you prefer you can keep it straight. But as you bend to the back, I want your body to come forward. Okay, hinging with a flat back. Front, side, and bend. Front, side, and bend. Now we're gonna make a pyramid out of this. So a couple more singles, and then we're gonna add on and do one to five, and back down, okay? So let's start now, this is just one, side and back. Now we've got two of these, two side and two back. Now it's three, two, one, side, two, one and back, two, one, four, three, two, one, side, three, two, one, hip flexors, four, Three, two, one. Now it's five, four, three, two, one. It's side, four, three, two, one. You don't have to lift high. Four, three, two, one. Back to four, three, two, one. Turn your heel out and your hip out. Three, two, one, four, Three, two, one. Now it's three again. Three, two, one. Sorry if I can't count. Two, 
One, three, two, one, just two, and one side, two, and one back, two, and one. Now it's one, one, one. Awesome job. So coming back into that turnout position, we're going to come up into releve. So heels together, knees apart, come down as if you're sliding your back down an imaginary wall and just start pulsing. So your hips are slightly tucked forward here. Your body's nice and upright and relaxed. Your tummy's in and you're pulsing, feeling, especially here, the inside of the thigh. Push against those heels because that's what's gonna engage your inner thighs as well. Ah, breathe. So, heart rate is up, even though we're not jumping here. A few more like this, then we're gonna add some tucks. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now tuck forward. So what I want you to do is stay in this low position and then bring your hips to the front, squeezing your glutes. Front, front. So release and squeeze. You're not overarching like this. You're staying in control. Tuck under. Try to stay low, try to stay upright and glue your heels together. Push against them, stay up high on your tippy toes, but if you can't, just come flat footed. Forward, a few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna combine that, come up for a second, we're gonna come down, tuck and slightly up. Tuck and slightly up. Down, tuck and slightly up. Okay, don't come all the way up. Maybe slide down lower each time. Come on, feeling that burn, shaping that muscle. You can do it. Squeeze those glutes under. That will help you tuck forward harder. A few more like this. And up. And up, let's go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, hold it. Knees are back. Stay low, push in on the heels, knees are back. Last one in this position, then we're changing sides. Ah, breathe, breathe, come on. Knees to the back. Squeeze, squeeze. Push in on those heels. Stay high in your releve. Tummies are in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, so I'm switching my chair to the other side. We're going to do that same pyramid. So feet are turned out again. This time we're soft. We're bringing the other leg in front. So what I want you to make sure is that your inner thigh is turned up to the ceiling. So we're just starting with those singles. And remember, we're going to come front, side, and on the back, I'm hinging forward. Side, hinge. Front, side, hinge. It doesn't matter so much what you do with your arm. Side, hinge. As long as you've got that nice upright position, apart from that hinging one, side, hinge. Side, hinge. Try and get it up as high as you can each time. I know it takes a lot of hip flexor strength, especially in this turned out position. You feel it even more, but this is how you get stronger. So a couple more like this, and then we're gonna pyramid, one to five and back down. Let's do one more single, up, side, back, starting with one. Side, back. Now two, side, back. Now three, two, three, one, two, three, back, two, three. Now four, two, three, side, two, three, back, two, three. Now five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, back to four, three, two, one, side for four, 
three, two, one, back to four, three, two, one, it's three, two, one, side three, two, one, back three, two, one, it's two and one, two and one, two and one, and just one, one, one. Awesome job. So now we're coming into a parallel position. So both our to toes are facing the front, knees are slightly bent, come up into releve again, tippy tippy toes as if you're wearing stilettos, and sink down once again like your, wall, your back is against the wall, tummy's pulled in, shoulders are down, pulse. Catch your breath, pulse. So this is just a slight different angle. Still hitting those thighs hard. Make sure that you're really upright here. You don't wanna be leaning forward or back and don't have too much pressure on that hand. Really try to use your core to keep you nice and balanced. Down and down. A few more like this, then we're gonna go into some more tucks. So this is very much for the front of the thigh, quad muscle lengthening and strengthening. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay down and now we're gonna tuck and release. Tuck hard and release. Same thing that we did before, tuck and release. So you're not coming all the way back, remember? You're just coming to a neutral and forward. Neutral and forward. Feeling those thighs lengthening and burning. Front and front. You've got to try and stay lower here. I know it's tough and you can come up for a second, but try. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now stay in this tuck position and we're going to come forward and stay in the same horizontal plane. So tuck forward, stick your glutes out, then come back and slightly hinge back, bring your shoulders to the back. So you're coming forward and then you're coming back with your shoulders and forward and back. Okay, so try to stay low so you're making almost 90 degree angles with your legs on the forward. Forward and back, forward and back. Stay high on your tippy toes unless it's just too much and you have to come down for a second, which is totally fine, but I want you to really feel the front of your thigh. We're nearly done. And back. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, stay low, one, we're not done, I'm sorry, lean back and just pulse, a tiny, tiny little pulse, lean back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, wow, did you, did you feel that? Okay, we're going to shake that out because I'm being kind to you, so just hold on to your chair and we're going to go front and side. Just sweep it, sweep it. Front and side, so it's angled. And then you're angling slightly back and side. So this is a dynamic lengthen move. And side, front and side. Just go to your high point. You should feel a stretch in the back of the leg. A nice stretch in the supporting leg as well. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, we're going to the other side, same thing. So it's front and side. It's slightly to the back on an angle. Front and side. Should be feeling this in your waist as well. So hold your tummy in, never miss out on bonus ab work. Front and side. Sweep it. Getting rid of all the lactic acid before we build it up again. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now we're gonna turn 
takes the chair towards us, okay? So the base of the chair towards you, and you're going to hold on to the seat of the chair. So now you need to make sure that this is really sturdy. You don't want it to be on wonky ground. Then I want you to walk back, and all we're gonna do is come in with the knee, up and down. It's up, in with the knee, up and down. So your butt is slightly up in the air here. It's not a perfect plank. The chair is actually going to make this easier than if you were on the ground. So if you want to advance this, why not do it on the ground? But I wanted to show some options so all of you can follow along with me no matter what level you are. And if you want to make it even easier, come closer to the chair and just come like this, okay? That's your choice. Everyone needs to just challenge themselves, but do it at their level. You don't want to injure yourself. A few more like this. Up, in, back and down. Up, in, back and down. One more each side. Up, in, back and down. Up, in, back and down. Okay, now I'm gonna start on the front leg so you can see better. We're gonna come up, we're gonna come across, we're gonna come up and rotate. Cross up, rotate. Cross up, out first, then in. Up, rotate. Cross up, rotate. Keep your legs straight if you can, but if you can't, then just do a soft bend in the knee, maybe like this. Okay, I'm up on my toe of my supporting leg, but you don't even need to do that. You can keep it lower, you can bend a little bit. So choose your level. Up cross and rotate. Down up cross, rotate. Four more. Ah, feeling that. Three, two, one. We're gonna do that to the other side. So it's across, then it's rotate out. Up, down, rotate out. All the way. I want you to squeeze your glute like there's no tomorrow here. So by coming up on the toe, you're actually increasing your range of motion. And I'm crossing behind the other leg, and that's gonna give me a bit of inner thigh recruitment around and down. Try to make the circle big. I know that as you get tired, the circle's gonna get smaller. You can slow this down or bend your knee. Your choice. Come on, a few more. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and last one. Okay, now this one is not for everyone, but if you want to, I'm going to show you some handstand variations using the chair. Try to dry your hands off a little bit. So it's in and up, in and up. So if you don't want to, then here, in and out. But if you want to, jump slightly jump slightly, or even lift off the toe slightly. Lift off. So this is the best one, or the most challenging one. Make sure you're looking down past the chair, almost towards your feet, and try to keep everything parallel. So you're using your arms, you're using your core, and you're using your lower body. Come on, a few more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, same thing other side. It's in and up. So, choose your option. Do you wanna keep it low? Just do these sweeps. Do you wanna come up on the toe a bit, but not really get much air? Then do that. Or do you wanna go a little bit further up? Look at your foot. 
that helps to keep your spine in better alignment. And you're using the momentum of the leg to bring you up. So swing that leg up. It'll help you. Heart rate high. Cardio sculpt. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice job. Bring the chair to the side. Just a really quick sweeping action to calm down. So feet are turned out, knees are turned out. Fingertips on the chair, over and down. Over and down. Over and down. So this is loosening through the shoulders, through the waist. Still using our legs, but we're just loosening everything up again before we move on to some upper body. Chiseling and down. Try to sink low. Your feet are turned out, so you're engaging your inner thighs here. Six, five, four, three. Pick up that leg. Two and one. Nice job. Other side. Same thing, nice wide stance, coming down, across, across. Sink down and then come and transfer all your weight and pick up that leg. Your kneecap is to the front of the room here, okay? So make sure it's not up to the ceiling. Hold your tummies in. Just fall into it, but with control. Across, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. So we don't need our chair, so put that out of the way and grab your weights. Okay, so come into the center. We're gonna keep our knees soft and we're going to keep our arms by our side and we're gonna start with that similar exercise that we started by side bending. So I just want you to bring your weight up to your waist. And then as you get a little bit warmer, start bending a little bit lower and stick your hip out to the side wall. You need to make sure that you're keeping your tummy pulled in really nice and tight here and just go as low as you feel comfortable a few more like this let's go for six five four three two one now we're going to turn this foot to the side wall and widen our stance a bit and we're going to bring our hand to our shoulder and overhead and we're going to push put both of our palms to the front and come down and then right ourselves so palm to the front and then come up palm to the side so the bottom arm stays the same but my top arm it's palm to the front and then palm to the side wall okay so i'm switching that and i'm rotating through my shoulder joint I'm coming down all the way, but if you're not flexible enough to do that, then why not just come down to here? Okay, I've got both my legs straight, but if you prefer to have a little bend in the front leg like this, you can do that too, okay? So it's up to you, choose your level. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. One, now bring that arm down. We're gonna come down, now we're all gonna bend our front leg. Bring our hand down towards our calf and the other one's here. You can slightly lean the back of your arm on your leg and we're gonna rotate and come down. Rotate up, come down. So slow and controlled, follow 
your weight with your gaze and keep a micro bend in that elbow. Up and down. So just leaning on the other leg should really be loading into that inner thigh. Are you feeling it? Up and down. Up and down. Let's go for six. Five, tummies in. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice job. We're going to the other side. So turn your foot out, bring the weight, and then bring it up. The other one, palm to the front, palm to the front, come down either with a bent leg or with a straight leg. So you can come down and straighten, or if you want to make it more of a dynamic stretch, keep your front leg straight, or if you want to, just keep the front leg bent. So it's totally up to you. It's your workout. The most important thing here is that you hold your belly button in tight to your spine and that you keep your arms aligned. Okay, you're coming directly up and down, going to the side. Don't lean forward, don't lean back. And you can look up at that hand weight if you want. Down and up, come to your low point. And remember, I'm rotating my hand, palm to the front, palm to the side wall, just on the top arm. So every time I come up, I squeeze my back and my abs, my obliques. And up, eight, seven, six, five, four, nice stretch, three, two, one. Bring it down safely and now uh, bend this front leg. The other arm is just along here. Then you're coming down and you're keeping your back flat here. Don't round up. And it's up and it's down. So look at your weight. Do not over rotate at the top. You wanna make sure that you're squeezing your shoulder blade at the top there. It's up and it's down. And you've got a wide stance here, so your knee is behind your toe on that supporting leg. And you've got the weight leaning on that thigh, so you should be feeling a good burn on that inner thigh, yes? A few more like this. Don't grip the weight too tightly. You want to keep loose fingers rotating through the shoulder. Up and down. Let's go for six. Six. Tummies in. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, coming in. Now we're going to keep our knees nice and soft, and our legs are going to be wider than our hips. We're going to come down. We're going to come in. We're going to stand up. We're going to come down. Bicep curl in, overhead press. Down as low as you can with a flat back. Okay, if you can't come down here, then maybe here and overhead. But if you can, I want you to sink your glutes to the back as if you're sitting in a tiny little chair. Front and up, down. My weight is completely in my heels. Okay, so I can wiggle my toes here. Down and up. A few more. Down. Let's go for four. And up. Three. And up. Two. And up. One. And up. Nice job. Okay, so now triceps extensions. But we're going to do single arm behind the head. So it comes across to the other side, up, down, and up. Now, if you find this 
a bit of a struggle, you can drop the other weight and hold your arm, okay? But if you can do it without, try to do it without, so you can hold onto this other weight and still keep the other arm engaged. Blow out on the top, a few more. Up, up, come on, up. Six, five, squeeze at the top. Four, three, two, one. Safely come down. So I'm just kind of holding my hand here, but I'm engaging my entire arm. Up overhead, behind to the opposite shoulder blade, and up. Up. Squeeze. Isolation. Up. I want you to focus on perfect form here. Then we're going to go back to some compound moves. Up. Up. Squeeze that back of the arm. Tummies are in. Down and up. Down and up. All the way down, all the way up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Safely down. Okay, now we're going to come into a lunge combination with a back row. So it's forward, hinge. One. Two, three, and back, and fly. Now, other leg. One, two, three, back, and fly. Forward, row, two, three, back, soft knees, fly. Forward, row, two, three. Hold your tummy in, especially as you step back. Forward, one, two, three, step back, soft knees, fly. You're standing up out of that squat when you do the fly. Two, three, step back, fly. One, two, three, step back, fly. We're gonna do this last side and then we're gonna switch it and do one row and three flies. Okay, so it's forward row, step back, one, two, three, other leg. Forward row, step back, one, two, three, other leg. Forward row, step back, one, two, three, tiny squat pulse. Row it, step back, one, two, three, four more, forward row, Step back, one, two, three, and forward row. Step back, one, all the way up, three. Last set, row it, and back, one, two, three, and forward, row, and back, one, two, three. Okay, so now we're gonna do a biceps, triceps combination. One leg is to the front, we're gonna do a tricep and we're gonna do a bicep, okay? So it's up and in. So in with the bicep and the tricep is up towards the back. I'm hinging forward, weight is in the heel of the front leg and I'm trying to keep my back really flat. Look in front of you. My back leg is straight for a little bit of a stretch, why not? And I'm squeezing those weights all the way up to the top. My arm that's doing the tricep is close into my rib cage. I'm only moving the bottom portion of my arm. For six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna switch it up. Okay, so tricep and bicep, back, back. Squeeze the back of your arm and squeeze that bicep. <sighs> Hinging forward like this actually makes the biceps exercise a lot harder because your arm has got more range of motion. It's not hitting against your body, so it can go a little bit behind where it usually would. 
come on. Breathe out on the squeeze. Still sweating. You go as heavy as you feel. If you want to go lighter, go lighter. If you want to go heavier, go heavier. Come on. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Awesome job. We're going to lie down on the ground. We're going to do a few chest flies and then some abs with the weights. Okay, so lie down. And I'm going to bring my legs up to tabletop. Arms are overhead. We're going to come down, up, down, pulse two. Up, down, up, down, pulse two. Up, down, up, down, pulse, pulse. Up, down, up, down, pulse, pulse. Can you do it? Up, down, pulse, pulse. Now extend your legs further if you want to engage your abs a little bit more. Up, down, up, down, pulse, pulse. Maybe lift your head. Up, down, up, down. That engages your upper abs. Up, down, up, down, pulse, pulse. A few more like this. Lighter weights means more reps and larger range of motion work. So you really have to stretch, making it, making it harder because you've got longer levers to lift. Up, down, up, down, pulse, pulse. Two more. Up, down, up, down, pulse, pulse. One more. Up, down, up, down, pulse, pulse. Now, you can either keep both weights or just use one. I'm going to use one and we're going to do some abs. We're going to bring our weight over our head. Our elbows are going to be soft and we're just going to come up and we're going to tap. Down and tap. So blow out as you come up. Blow out. If you can't do this, either drop the weight or stay up here. Okay, this is a little bit easier because you're not coming all the way down. But if you can, a few all the way. Down and up, down and up. Look straight ahead. Down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Now drop the weight for this next one. I want you to put the weight out the way. Cross and cross. And now start bringing your knee all the way down. Cross and cross. Cross and cross. Now can you straighten your legs on the cross? It's like a windmill kind of action but coming down all the way. So your chest is staying to the ceiling. Your chest is not turning. It's only from the waist down that's turning. Cross and cross. Squeeze it, feeling your waistline. Now, if you want to make it easier, just make it smaller. Why not stay up further and just go like this? Okay, make it your workout. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So grab your weight again. And we're going to do a similar thing, but we're going to just use our upper body. So I want you to C curve back, and we're just going to row and row side to side with that weight. So as you come down to the side, Lean to the back, lean to the back. So still hitting that same oblique area, but in a seated position. The more you lean back, the harder it is. So keep it more upright if you're finding this too hard. A few more. Try to keep your feet down, I know it's tough. Six, five, Four, three, two, 
One, nice job. So we're going to put the weight out this way again. And now we're going to stay like this and we're going to swan arm, back reach behind. Back reach behind. So come up and reach behind. Fluid motion. Obliques again, because we love it. Behind. Look at your hand. Make it nice and graceful. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're doing the same thing to the other side. So down and back. I want you to flow through the arms. Hold everything in. The further you lean back, the harder it is. So if you want to stay up here, then do that. If you want to come all the way back, then do that. But don't lift your heels off. And back. <sighs> Nearly done with this. And we're stretching. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Shall we finish with a hold? Why not? Tummies are in, legs are up. Why not? Finish with a hold. Just hold, blow out and hold. Might be a bit of shaking going on. Straighten one leg, straighten the other leg. Arms overhead. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're done. Ah, that wasn't too bad, was it? It was definitely less cardio than yesterday, but definitely a big burn for the lower body today and the abs and the arms. So sculpting is no joke. Come to the front and reach and reach, reach and reach. Feels good. And now come all the way over and just hold for a second. And then other side. Reach all the way over, stretching the side body. We did a lot of side body work today. And we're just gonna lie on our backs. And we're going to bring our leg up. Nice hamstring stretch. You can point and flex here. If you can, just open to the side. Bring it in towards the body and down towards the floor and keep it straight. Stretching your inner thighs. And then cross over into that figure four. You can either just keep it here or if you want to, then bring it up and then push away on that inside of the knee. Now cross your legs over and then bring them both to the back and look to the front. Ah, that feels so good. And now bring them up and then cross the other way and look to the back. And then come back up and straighten the back leg now. Point and flex, hamstring stretch. It's actually a stretch for the full back of the leg, including the glutes, hamstrings, calves, ankles, Achilles. Now bring it in towards the body and down. Straighten that. Just come to your low point. Then across for that figure four. Bring it in. Stretching through the hips. That feels nice on the hips. Now cross it over and then bring your legs to the front and look to the back. And then bring it up and then keep across the same way to the back and look to the front. Ah, that one feels good. And 
now come into the center and just open up in a diamond shape. Just let everything kind of hang heavy into the floor and open up through your hips, through your inner thighs. And then just bring your legs in and just rock a few times and use that momentum to rock a bit higher, massaging the spine. Only do this on a soft surface. And then three more, two. Now come all the way up. And we're just gonna sit back to the front and we're gonna bring our arm across. We did a lot of shoulder work today. And then up and behind, lean over, stretch the tricep. And then in front and push into that other palm, stretching the bicep and the forearm. And then switch it up. It feels nice. Behind. And bicep. Interlace, push in front. Interlace behind, pull up at the back, really open up through the shoulders and chest. And finally, cat-cow, breathe out and round up. And then look to the ceiling, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth and round up one more time. Come down into a child's pose, stretch out. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for five day fitness, day two fusion skull. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow.